this way. Oh, there's always the sun. Welcome, everybody, back to the shed of parts. Uh, there we are. So, yes, episode 13. I am not suspicious. I, I was going to... Suspicious. Superstitious. I was going to leave out episode 13 and just go straight ahead on episode 14. But you'd have missed out on all that lovely video -ness. So, yeah, I, I, I'm not superstitious. One little bit. Touch wood, touch wood. Uh, oh, two magpies. Oh, Doth me up to you, sir. Top of the morning to you, right? Okay, where are we? Let's have a bit of a recap so far, shall we? Right. Yeah, Chris, the guy that uh, I met halfway, and we he gave me all the boxes full of parts. Uh, cheers, Chris. In that box of parts was this little fella. As you can see, is a cylinder head, for what it's worth. Now, I naturally assumed that, that was an FZ50 cylinder head because it was in the bag with the FZ50 engine and wheel and and all that governance but it isn't the threads are gone okay where the spark plug goes in the hole there and I thought to myself right I'm going to call my mates up uh, Costa and Dimitri and get them to either drill out and helicoil it uh, I did actually phone them up and Costa sp I spoke to Costa and he said well what we do normally with something like that a, a small alloy piece fairly sort of thin he said we will fill the hole up and then we'll re ream in a new thread um, so I said to him okay I'll see you later this was last weekend and I never did get up to see him for whatever reason I always say things happen for a reason uh, anyway I'm glad I didn't it's not the right head um, poor old Chris, he didn't know. Uh, obviously, he just got all these parts that were lying around in his lovely great big shed and he sort of threw them in a box, uh, a couple of boxes, and uh, shipped them off to me. So, but I've managed to find one. It's in the parts cleaner. I'm just going to dig it out. It's been soaking in there for a few days. Ooh. Okay. That needs a bit of a rub and then it'll be fine. Okay, so this one is not the right head for the FZ. <laughs> this one is. Look how, look how tilly wiggly it is. Oh my God. Yeah, so these stud holes, they, they line up with these stud holes on the engine. And that's 41 millimeter across there, etc, etc. I just naturally assumed that that was it. But as you can see... It, Good job I never spent any time on that, isn't it? So that's now going to be a doorstop. Now, like I say, after the job's finished, I'm going to accumulate all the parts uh, that I have that are left over, that are broken or whatever, I couldn't use for whatever reason. And I'm going to make a sculpture. And perhaps we'll see if that comes up for, uh, for offer in, in a later video series. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to give that a bit of a scrub in a minute with the missus's toothbrush, that would be cool. Not for her, obviously. Okay, so yeah, a bit of a recap. What was I doing last time? I was sort of sanding this off, wasn't I? Uh, I, have, I have had a lot of tips from you guys, and thank you so much. Uh, we have Peter K, we've got Skask, Matty, Claire, Clive G, uh, Brian, Gary, Graham, Alan, Jim, Robert, Matthew... John, Eddie, oh, there's loads of people. Dave B, Dave Y, Woody, Peter, Nigel, especially Nigel. Met you, Nigel, didn't I? Top man. Uh, Gareth, Carlos, Peter, Brian, Andy, uh, Paul. Uh, yeah, there's, there's hundreds of you, and lots of you have given me tips. Um, who is it that said about the sealant for the engine? Was it Paul? I think it was... Paul, might be wrong, don't shoot me if I'm wrong, uh, and he's given me a name of uh, this uh, really good sealant for the engine, it's what, what they use to seal crankcases, it's it's uh, um, uh, like a, it doesn't harden, it's like a, a, a like a silicon sort of putty, if you like, and it, it doesn't, it just does the job constantly, so I've had to fork out for that £17.90 for a little tiny tube, 250mm tube, but if if that's what it takes to um, seal a, 
uh, a two stroke crankcase then so be it I, I'd rather fork out a bit, a bit of cash and get the right stuff eh? ok so there's that I will be doing some more polishing on this I have been to Hell Frauds and I've got an assortment pack ok so you've got four 1200, four 800, four 400 and three 240 sheets which is going to be perfect I probably want to even use half of this pack but it's there for future projects isn't it so I'm going to use that to do the best I can in where there are proper crusty knickknacks in here I am going to use a Dremel type thing which is my rotating grinder I can't show you all of it because it's pretty buried but it's like a bench grinder isn't it it's got the wheel on one end and, and the the puffer on the other end and it also has this spindly drive which whizzes around and I've got like Dremel bits to go in there which are here little little bits and bobs like that you can see so I'll be trying out various little bits and pieces to get in those little crevices then I will finish off with the wet and dry and see how far we get on that. There is a product, because I mean, you guys know as well as I do, uh, Nitromores is about, you, you've got more chance of spitting on it, getting the paint off than that stuff, because they've taken out that main chemical that used to be in it for health and safety reasons. So, yeah, there's this stuff in the, in the United States, it's called aircraft remover. Just uh, have a quick look on YouTube. Just YouTube aircraft remover and fluid. I tell you what, the ma before the mate he's took his brush off, as he applies it, it's bubbling up behind the brush. It's just spot on. You can't get it in this country. So there, there, there was that. that. So that, that's to be done. Uh, hydrogen peroxide cleaning that was upstairs in the games room. Yes, that's still ongoing, but I've boobed a bit. I think really, it's a bit of a a bit of a good news, bad news thing. Really, uh, the bad news is. I didn't follow the instructions perfectly. I put the fluid in a container. I put the parts in the container in the fluid. I had to weigh it down eventually with spark plugs and washers and things like that. And yeah, put the UV light in there and all the rest of it. So the whole setup cost me about £30. But what I forgot to do was you are supposed to sort of line the interior and the lid, etc., with, with tin foil, the, the reflective side. So it, literally all the light bounces off everywhere and, and gets right into those parts and, and cleans them up. I didn't do it. I forgot about it. Uh, so that hasn't worked, to be honest. Having said that, there is the orange floaty needly bit. I don't know how it's coming out on the camera there. But it's it's a lot lighter than what it was. Seriously, a lot lighter. Okay, but there is every cloud is a silver lining, and there is a, a you know, pot of gold at the end of each rainbow. In that, I have ordered some more stuff. It's hydrogen cr uh, cream. It's basically hairdressing uh, bleach, which is hydrogen peroxide, but it's in, it, instead of being a, a liquid watery sort of form it's actually a cream so you can brush it on so when you brush on this stuff you then wrap it in cling film to keep the moisture in you don't want the moisture escaping because it just dries up and, and, and it fails keep the moisture in put it in the sunlight or a uv light or whatever you, you got to hand and leave it for like three days something like that and uh, yeah good is new at the end of it so we'll see yeah that pot of uh, cream cost me about eight pound Something like that. So we'll see. See how that's coming. The cylinder barrel, piston, rings, gudgeon pin, circlips, and four studs and four nuts will be here tomorrow. So yippee! I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, what else have I got coming? The two springs on the front that haven't turned up. Two of those, they are en route. I, I messaged the guy many times and had to open a thing uh, and eventually got back to me. Bless him, he's been poorly. So 
he hasn't been able to do literally anything. So now he's back on his feet, he's, he's sent them. So they should be here as well tomorrow. Uh, uh, get well soon, Dave. So there you go, thank you. Right. Yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a Dremel now, I think, with my grinder and see how we get on from there. Anyway, hey, welcome to episode 13. Thank you for your likes and your subscriptions and your comments. They always cheer me up. Yeah, it's a bit of a giggle, isn't it? I've got some more stuff up my sleeve. Have I? To, uh, just to entertain people, really, and have a bit of a giggle. Right, got to crack on. Right, yeah, back to normal speed. Uh, yeah, I can't be, can't be listening to that again. Once is enough. Well, here we have the, the steel... Uh, one if you like and there is the brassy one so I'm now going to try the brass one I might even start off with the with the small gauge brass one let's put all the bits back in the box otherwise I'm going to lose them ok let's get this you just turn that around until you see a, the hole in there stick the pin in and you can literally rah, undo it if you're strong enough or, or you've got a little spanner either way right so let's put the small one in there well. do, 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 do. come on in you go Roar. It going in it's tight in my hole and it's uh, not going any further Oh yeah, it's about as straight as a something that's not very straight. What's going on with that then? Ah, there we go. It's popped in now. It's popped in the hole, which is super. Yeah, I had sore fingers the other night. I just did too much finger blasting, so I'm going to carry on with this little gizmo. Right, let's have another go. Well, that does get right in the corners. doesn't seem to have that, that X factor, it doesn't have that impact. So let's try the next one up. It just hasn't got that, oh, I don't know, it just wants something that's not stone abrasive, it wants something... We live and learn, don't we? Live and learn! I just don't want this video to be really boring. But sometimes, you know, it's a rough with the smooth and all that. Right. Last, last resort. Just do the Suzuki bit and let you have a look. Girls talk music everywhere.
No. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with this. Quite. ready for a polish now isn't it that sort of predicament that is really good because it's brass it doesn't scratch the surface right okay i want to bore you with this no longer i am gonna do what i can with this and then you can have a good old uh google at it in a second right take care don't forget go and have a quick look at uh what was it i said uh thingy um what you call it oh come on you know what i was talking about <laughs> Terrible, like absolutely freaking terrible. Uh, I forgot. Rewind it a bit and go and have a look. But seriously, it's good. Uh, all right, okay, catch you in a bit. Nah, I've got mad. Aircraft remover. That's what it was, wasn't it? Go and have a look at aircraft remover. I was so impressed. Anyway, I have finished Dremelly type thing for the moment, and look at the result. Not bad, is it? Not bad for a once over. I have noticed, here, let me bring you in a bit closer. I have noticed a lot of, uh, where are they? A lot of pits here and there. But generally, that is smooth as a baby's bottom, uh, allegedly. Right, yeah, a little bit. Of, See, most of it's off. Although it looks dark, it's still clean dark, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, that took me a little while. I've drunk me brew. That's how long it took. Okay, let's go around this slowly. So you can see. That's what that stone wheel did. I should never have used that. It's just mullered it a bit. But I kind of... Got it back a bit, didn't I? So it's not too bad. But it's very pitted. Very pit. A lot of uh, metals actually been eaten, eaten away. Well, you guys saw, you saw what it looked like to start with. But that that's not bad, is it? Just for a once over with the old, with the old circular toothbrush. That's that's absolutely good. I'm really happy with that. Okay, uh, next is. Oh, what am I going to do next? Do you know what? I'm going to do a bit of wiring, I think. No, I'm not. I'm going to get the other part. out. As I've got the, the grinder set up, I'm going to put that to, to a side, and I'm going to get the other part out, and I'm going to give that a bit of a dremel in. No, I'm not. I'm going to get in, in there with the headers. Uh, blimey, Charlie. I don't know. Where is it gone? There it is. Whoa. In the depths. It's in the depths. There it is. See, that cleaning fluid has really... I should have took a picture of that before. I'm just going to get my machine on. And uh, do you know what? I reckon my stiff one will get that off. Finar, finar. Where's my stiff one, missus? Oh, there's my stiff one. These come as a pair, who were missus. And they are like detailing brushes, but they are so, so strong. There's a, a new one there. But yeah, I tried to sort of melt the ends so the, the, the little tips of each piece went rounded. But uh, yeah, look what happened. <laughs> I don't know. So right, I'm going to give that a bit of a dib-dab in there. And uh, see what happens. See what that comes out like. Okay. Uh, I'm still on the fence about painting the engine or polishing it. I just don't know. Drop comments down below. What do you think I should do with it? Um, I'm not going to take any notice of your comments, but there, no, seriously, I'm only mucking about. I, I always do, I always do, and I'm going to go for the original baby blue, light sky blue colour. I, I was going to do it with, with the uh, the metallic, uh, not the metallic. Yes, it is metallic, isn't it? it the, the the candy blue, like I did the CD175, but it just wouldn't look like an FZ50, would it? It, it, it has to be orange. 
white, green, red or blue. That's the colours they came in. So I'm going to stick to original, I think, pretty much. I could have gone higher with the with the cylinder barrel. I could have gone up to 65cc. But then you got to, you've increased the bore size and, just, and that. So you, you then have to funny around with the carburetor to, to put more fuel in. And all that kind of stuff. So I just want to keep it standard and that's what I'm going for. Okay, right. Go get your sounds of brew. And uh, I need to get me, me stiff one working in this parts cleaner. Fin half and half. Oh, catch you in a bit. fine circular piece and uh, shove it down in those tight nooks to see if I can uh, get that shrapnel out of there. That's not bad, is it? It looks almost, almost new, almost. Threads are lovely and clean, spot on. I've tried the plug in there already and uh, yeah, it's okay. So this is uh, Elvin the Chipmunk saying goodnight to you. Nighty night. Keep your guesses coming in. Need to fill that page up for that to win that prestigious watch. Thanks for looking. Catch you in a bit.
Okay guys, well I have been banging away at this for hours, literally. Oh. I've got a mark, probably have a eye. Right, where am I at with this? Well, I had a decision made for me, sadly. There it is in all of its splendour now, pretty much polished. I think I've wasted some money on the wet and dry. And the reason for that is, it's literally, if I was to sand this down, or wet and dry this down, to like a mirror finish... In places, I will have to go down at least a mil. And that is a huge amount off of this little engine casing. There are so many pits. Now I've polished it right up. Yeah, it just it needs acid etched. And it needs deep fill primer. A good few coats as well, I think. Come and have a look. Rare. Where are we? It's just everywhere you look. Literally, the, all of it is gougy. That bit, top bit's not so bad there. But let me come in close down here. If we can get an angle on it, you see, it's proper. Look at it. That will take so much metal off. You see, it's like the face of the moon, isn't it? It's it's the, the salt has got in there, and it's dug its little burrows. Stop reflecting you. Look, see? And as you go deeper, it, it, it's. It's. It, oh, do you know? It's, it's just beyond polishing. Mind you, if I'm going to keep it stock, the stock is painted anyway. But I've been giving this so much. So much wrist work. I, you know, I, I was so tempted to to go all the way with it, but uh, I, I can't because it is so pitted. It's it's difficult to gauge it with this dark light. <laughs> dark light. Well, I've even managed to clean these sides up. Literally, look at that. That is with this is what's left of my tip. <laughs> look at that. Oh my god, when it but that little tip there little, is perfect for getting in all your nooks. But there we are, it's it's yeah, no. that, that is mission impossible, isn't it? That's a better angle. You see what I mean? I mean, that's a good. That's probably half a mil thick, and around the other side it's a mil thick. Look at that. Nah, you see what I mean? You just, it was a complete and utter waste of time me trying to, to mirror that. Anyway, okay, so, that's, so that's been decided for me. That will be uh, acid etched. Can you get acid etched deep fill primer? Is there such a thing, or is it two different entities? I don't know. Can you drop a comment below, guys? And uh, <coughs> and let me know. Oh, let me just move that side cover out of the way for a second. Because I've had a bit of a result with this head. I've had the old doobie doobie right down, literally in all the little nooky neckies. Look, it's looking good. That there is just dust. Believe me, you, me, you, you, me, you, 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 me. It is just dust. Once it's had a rinse off, that is going to be scrum diddly dumptious. Proper. They even cleaned out the um, 
Oh, look, the threads. Yeah, it's looking all right, isn't it? Took, it's taken me, I don't know what the time is now. It must be, I don't know, nine o'clock-ish or something. So, I mean, I've been, I've been at that and that for three hours. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with that. that. That's just spot on, isn't it? Okay, guys, I think that's going to do it for this vid. It's about half an hour long, I think. Put him in his shoulder. I need to have a brew. Right, uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, like I say, if you can help me out with the, with the primey type stuff and what you think I should do with that, is is there a way round round that? I don't know. Um, I will need to key that if I'm going to be um, priming it. I will need to key that up a little bit, won't I? So, oh, let's have a quick look at. Oh my God! Let me fall over backwards. Have a quick look at that, and then you can pause it there and check your prices if you're on there. If you've not had a vote yet or a, a guess of the price it's going to cost to do this restoration to win. Oh man, let me just put that light off. It just. It, it basks in its own glory, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't need any any light source on it. The reflection just it needs sunglasses almost. Okay, right. I, I'm going to call that a day. I need to go indoors and to get washed up. And I could do with a break and get off my feet, to be honest. Okay, I hope you're all keeping well. Big shout out to Vicky and Andy. Hope you guys are keeping well. And literally, like I say earlier. Everybody that has helped, it's just, I am just a little guy in a shed mucking around, doing my best to restore bikes to the best of my uh, limited ability. And I kind of get there, don't I? Um, and it's just nice to have feedback from you guys. It's nice to to bat the ball backwards and forwards, isn't it? And, and, uh, and converse. And uh, share hints and tips. It's it's all good. Um, yeah. Right. I need to go and have a bit of a rest. Okay, guys. Take it care. And I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to my channel. Enjoy. Just go back down the page. Look at my library. And bore yourself to death. It's, yeah. Or, or not. It's up to you. Okay, yeah, I've got various postcards dotted around. I just love the old mini type stuff. I've got that one there, that one there, and we've got another Austin Morris over there. I digress, anyway. Right, take it easy, and I'll see you in episode 14. Take care.